The year is 1996. In the same year, the ICH GCP saw the light of the world for the first time. And clinical trials started looking similar to how we know them today. But what was I doing at that time? It was not clinical trials for sure. I was 5 years old, sitting in a big white rusty van with my grandfather in a small town in Slovakia. Even though my grandfather was a very tall and chubby guy, he had the coolest name. Everybody called him Freddy the Pink. He was a musician and played on every single wedding in the city, sometimes two in one day. I was driven around in that big white rusty van which was making all sorts of scary noises while he was doing his day-to-day -day duties. And I started noticing that everyone knew him. They will say, hey Freddy, how is your day? Or, hey Freddy, nice to see you, let's have a coffee sometime. I was always wondering, how is it possible that everyone know my grandfather? Now stay with me, I will come back to this question. Fast forward to 2019. Rosenbaum Consulting was born with the idea to help research sites with their feasibility processes. Our clients were mainly hospitals and CROs. Maybe you are expecting to hear all about technologies and how we are using the AIs and ML to track and predict our next moves. But I will have to disappoint you. This talk is not about that. Given my experience, more than a decade in the field of clinical trials. Yeah, yeah, I know, I look young and by the way, I am. I was more than excited to start and run my own company and help clients from all over the world choose the best possible clinical site. To be honest, everything was going super well, but then COVID-19 happened and it came into our lives and things changed for everyone, including me. Due to the circumstances, many technological advancements in the pharma field were brought to the market. Some of them truly great. However, even though it was all good up until that moment, I was challenged to sustain and keep my Rosenbaum Consulting alive. Why? Well, I woke up one day and my mailbox was exploding with the emails that my clients' projects were either delayed or postponed, except for one. A European biotech company listed on NASDAQ. That made me think and as a result I ended up revamping the business model I was using completely. That turned out to be the key to my success and the reason why I am standing in front of you today. So what changed? The situation made me truly realize that the business is changing with a pace we've never seen before. In these unsure times, what clients need, apart from the support of technology, is a professional service from someone with exceptional human skill. Let's face it, the business we are all in is a people's business. Do you remember the story about my grandfather and how everyone knew him? Well. 24 years later, it hit me. I finally understood why it was so important. And even though we never talked about this, I realized that he managed to do all of his business because he had the real personal connection with everyone. So I decided to replicate his approach and use the big network of contacts between the sponsors, the CRO and sites I've been creating for so many years working in the field. When a biotech client comes to me and wants to find them a CRO, or when a CRO wants to find well-working sites, what I do is to figure out the most suitable, strategic and cost-effective way. I don't want to brag how great I am or how great my communication skills are. Let me tell you how that resulted for my client, the European Biotech Company. I believe the numbers speak for themselves. 
we saved them more than 900,000 euro and shortened the process with more than four months. Let that sink in. But how did I manage to do that? Well, imagine me as Hitch, the character from the famous movie with Will Smith. There he's using his magical formula to find the perfect match for a person. Well, this is what I essentially do and it's similar to Hitch. I am a clinical operations strategist you can rent. Here is how the process with my European Biotech client went. They wanted to conduct a phase 3 international trial and the aim was to randomize 2000 patients. To do that, they essentially need several CRO offers since this is a large clinical trial. So I helped them with the bid defense. During the bid defense process, we received several offers out of which two were below half a million euro. And the third one was the biggest one. It was 1.3 million euro. But my client was insisting on working with the most expensive CRO because they had the experience and the knowledge in the field. What I did was that I negotiated for quite some time and I used my magical formula and I managed to drop the price to 470,000 euro. Apart from that, in a month from now on, they will start the trial. The difference was my approach and how I handled the communication and negotiation with the CRO. All of this is important for the sponsor as this way they have a capital for their future R&D. This is just one example out of the many clients I have helped tremendously transform their work with CROs. There are many more like Paraxel, PPD, PSI, Sinel's Health and others. There is a famous saying, your network is your net worth. And Rosenbaum Consulting is the living proof that this leads to actual results and huge benefit for sponsors, CROs and patients treated at the research site. Thank you for the privilege to be nominated for Reuters Pharma Awards. My name is David Rosenbaum and this was Rosenbaum Consulting.